What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video we're going to be comparing the Sony C800G to the Warm Audio WA8000. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Front End Audio for making this video possible. So a studio here in Nashville let us borrow the Sony C800G, and Front End Audio sent me the Warm Audio WA8000 to compare it. I've already done a review of the WA8000, and I'll have a link to it at the end of this video. So before we hear the sound comparisons between these two mics, let's take a closer look at them. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the Sony C800G and the Warm Audio WA8000. The Sony C800G is on the left, the Warm Audio is on the right. And one thing we were joking about in the studio is that at least with the warm, you get everything you need in the flight case. You see, you've got the power supply there. If you notice, no power supply in the case of the Sony C800G, and you'll see why in just a second. But uh, looking at their uh, physical appearance, the Sony C800G is longer that you can see there. And this is interesting. If you look at uh, how the truth is screwing on the XLR cable to the Sony C800G, you don't just plug it in, it literally screws in. Here's some more side by side pics. Uh, on the right, we've got the picture of them from straight ahead, and they do look similar from straight ahead. I will say that I prefer the switch on the warm audio. It's more of a switch that you can grab to toggle between Omni and Cardioid. Versus the Sony C800G, it has that switch that's like, uh, like on the on the SM7, like recessed, like the recessed switch, uh, just making it more, um, you know, difficult to get in there to really flip between Omni and Cardioid. So here's a look at the power supplies for both microphones, and this is why the C800G does not have the power supply included in the case because it's massive. Look how big this power supply is. And a fun fact about the C800G, there are two 6AU6 tubes in the power supply. So the power supply actually uses two tubes. Uh, the warm audio does not. Uh, but, you know, it is frustrating to have an $11,000 mic and you have to make two trips because the power supply is as big as the case. Uh, but there's a look at the two power supplies here. And here's a few more side-by-side -side picks. Uh, this is how we set it up in the booth in order to do this shootout. All right, so with the uh, physical comparison out the way, uh, let's now take a listen to how these two sound. So I've got some rap vocals and some singing vocals here. And the way we recorded this, so you saw we had the two mics set up side-by-side. -side. So this was the same take on both mics at the same time. The mic pre we were using is the MicTech MPA201. And so I've got my picture covered over the track names right now. Just we'll kind of do a quick blind test, but I'm not going to make you wait for the results. Uh, so I'm going to play two takes here. And one is going to obviously be uh, the Sony C100G and the other is going to be the Warm Audio WA8000. And this is the, the rap vocals here. This is an artist named Virgos. All right, uh, so here's the first mic. Shit. I've been busting my ass on the many nights I stayed up. Meditating, honing my craft and staying prayed up. Uh, we bout the money, y'all that sucker shit don't phase us. I hear them taking shots, but them bullets don't ever graze us. And the second mic. Shit. I've been busting my ass on the many nights I stayed up. Meditating, honing my craft and staying prayed up. Uh, we bout the money, y'all that sucker shit don't phase us. I hear them taking shots, but them bullets don't ever graze us. All right, so if you want to continue with the blind shootout, you can pause this, go back and listen to those again. Uh, but uh, the top track, the blue track, is the Warm Audio WA8000, and the bottom track, the purple track, is the Sony C800G. Uh, so now that you know which one is which, I'm going to play this all the way through. I think it's probably like 16 bars or something. Uh, but I'm going to switch between uh, the two tracks so you can hear the immediate difference between them. And we'll start with the uh, WA8000. Shit. I've been busting my ass on the many nights I stayed up. 
Meditating, honing my craft and staying prayed up. Uh, we bout the money, y'all that sucker shit don't phase us. I hear them taking shots, but them bullets don't ever graze us. Tell them niggas to raise up. This is where we supposed to sit. Change my mindset like fuck the hope, this what we supposed to get. Costa Nostra shit, I feel my dreams the more I'm close to it. Success around the corner, make a toast to this. And stay away from jokers with no job or no kids, but yet they still bored. Got the kind of time and the freedom I would kill for. Uh, we independent, what the fuck we need to deal for? I told Kingpin when we drop four, we hitting billboard. That's major with no major label, no, no cosign. I've been knowing the whole time, my catalog a gold mine. Can't nobody control mine, a master of my own fate. May not been the goat, y'all catching on late. All right, uh, so there was flipping back and forth between uh, the two mics. And listening to them on my headphones, they sound a little closer than what they do on my uh, barefoots, listening to them on the monitors. But uh, I'll tell you what I'm hearing uh, between these two. Uh, the Sony is definitely a little brighter, and it is more clear to me in the low mids. Uh, the warm is just a touch muddy in the low mids to me, and it's not as bright. I can definitely see some people saying that the C800G is too bright. Uh, definitely the S's were sticking out more on the C800G where I felt that the WA8000 uh, handled the S's a little better. And I'm assuming that's just because it wasn't as bright. All right, uh, let's move on to the singing example. I've got some female vocals here from Simone Curry. And just like we did with the rap vocals, we'll do a quick uh, blind test here. And then I'll review, reveal which mic is which. And then we'll do some A-B so you can hear the immediate difference between them. Same signal chain here uh, going into the uh, Mic Tech MPA-201 uh, for uh, both mics at the same time. Uh, one take on both mics. All right, here is the first mic. I want it to be real to me But it stares at me like a star from the earth Must be real if it shines so bright But here I am Still cold in the dead of night And that's what I feel about it That's what I say about love sometimes That's what I know about it That's what I say about love sometimes Careful who you let into your company. I know you got feelings, but it ain't complete now. And the second mic. I want it to be real to me, but it stares at me like a star from the earth. Must be real if it shines so bright, but here I am, still cold in the dead of night. And that's what I feel about it. That's what I say about love sometimes That's what I know about it That's what I say about love sometimes Careful who you let into your company I know you got feelings but it ain't complete now Alright, uh, so let's reveal which one is which uh, the top track, the orange track, is the Sony C800 G, and the bottom track, the purple track, is the WA8000. All right, uh, let's play it again, and let's flip between them. I want it to be real to me, but it stares at me like a star from the earth. Must be real if it shines so bright, but here I am, still cold in the dead of night. And that's what I feel about it That's what I say about love sometimes That's what I know about it That's what I say about love sometimes Careful who you let into your company I know you got feelings but it ain't complete All right, so uh, between these two, I feel like this uh, on the singing here is a little closer than with the uh, rap vocal, but I still hear more clarity in the Sony C800G. It's still more uh, bright. Uh, and also on her voice to me, it just feels like the Sony C800G just has more life, and I even feel like I hear a little bit more warmth, even though I wouldn't describe the C800G as a warm colorful microphone but 
that's what I'm hearing uh, between uh, these two here. Uh, S's are sticking out a little bit on the Sony, which I think is going to continue to be a theme with it, with it, with as bright it is. Uh, but I feel like to the naked ear, if someone really doesn't know what to listen for, you can easily not hear a difference uh, between these two unless you just really know what to uh, listen for, which uh, I guess is a good thing uh, towards the warm. All right, uh, so let's give some final uh, thoughts here and definitely comment. Let me know what you think between uh, these examples, between the female vocals as well as the rap vocals on the C800G and the WA8000. Uh, but final thoughts uh, at what, like a tenth of the price. Uh, I'm not mad at the warm for the sound that you get from it. I do feel like the Sony just has a mix ready sound I also feel that the sony doesn't have a lot of low end in it so if you if someone had a if you're really trying to pull that low end out of someone's voice i feel like you need to go for a a different mic but i definitely hear why the c800g is that go-to mic for uh rap vocals and pop vocals especially if you want that just airy vocal and and when i say mix ready vocal you can just take this vocal and sit it in the mix and you're 95% there. You're definitely going to need a little bit of DSing on it and um, some compression as well. But just the sound that you get from the mic, from the Sony, I say you're 95% there. With the warm, though, maybe 80, 85% there. It still does uh, pretty good. I would still like to hear more uh, clarity from it, which, you know, we could EQ out some low mids and see if it cleans it up. I really haven't tried to EQ the warm to try to match the Sony from what I'm hearing, uh, but you can definitely, you know, I feel get a close sound to what the Sony is giving you with the warm uh, with some EQ there. Sony in some case, I mean, uh, warm in some cases, I feel as well would need some uh, DSing because it is. Uh, still on the brighter side, but just not as bright as the uh, Sony. And I will admit, uh, the warm did exceed my expectations for what I thought that it would do uh, when compared to the C800G. All right, uh, but definitely comment and let me know what y'all think. Uh, both of these mics are available at Front End Audio, and I've got a link in the description if you want to check them out, pick them up, or learn more about them. All right, if you like this video, I appreciate it. Thumbs up. If you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, a podcast about pro audio and beyond. Season three is now underway, and in this season, we'll be doing a lot of topics requested by listeners. So if you have a topic you want to hear discussed on the podcast, email us, DM us, or join us in our Facebook group, Faders Up Podcast, and let us know. And if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, I have a link in the description that'll take you to the page.